subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. Two, one, and this phone on the left has an Apple A9 CPU with two gigs of RAM versus the Snapdragon 845 with six gigs of RAM. So triple the RAM on the S9 Plus. And the reason I'm doing this is because you guys seem to like the SC versus the S9. So I figured let's do the pluses now and see how this older Success Plus compares to the S9 Plus. And you can see the S9 Plus way ahead there on the boot up. Well, not way ahead, about three seconds, but still the boot up round goes to the Galaxy S9 Plus. Okay guys, so the Galaxy S9 Plus easily won the boot up test, but let's go ahead and see which one is faster with the fingerprint. Now, the iPhone 6S Plus does have second gen touch ID, but that fingerprint on the S9 is very fast. So let's go ahead and see which one is quicker. Three, two, one. And you can see that's the S9 Plus. Let's do it again. Three, two, one. And that's the S9 Plus again. And one more time, three, two, one. And you can see S9 Plus again. So it always wins on the boot up test and the speed test on the fingerprint usually for the Galaxy S9 Plus. All right guys, so here we are quickly confirming the software. 11.3.1 for the iPhone 6S Plus, Samsung 9.0 with 8.0 Oreo running the show here. So let's go ahead and close out the settings applications and begin with the app speed test now to see which one is quicker in the day-to-day -day performance single core right here let's go into instagram and you can see that is the galaxy s9 plus with the load first flipping through some menus that look like the 6s plus and going through some so they're about the same in instagram apple health versus samsung health and you could see that is the iphone 6s plus calculator that's similar but i think the s9 plus let's go into settings you could see about the same, but S9 Plus gets the win there. Let's go into calendar. That's easily to the S9 Plus. Let's go into Twitter. And you can see Twitter is first for the S9 Plus by a huge margin. Let's go into WhatsApp. WhatsApp first again on the S9 Plus. Snapchat. Snapchat again loads a little bit faster on the S9 Plus. Let's go into YouTube. And you could see YouTube is first on the right let's go into the library activity subscriptions trending you could see that that's yeah, about the same fast scrolling versus smooth scrolling again here for apple versus samsung let's go into amazon and you could see amazon is first on the right there easily for the s9 plus chrome and you could see that's the s9 plus again and let's go into the nickackermanchannel.com, my website. You guys can go visit it if you like. I do have a blog over there. And let's hit go. And you can see that was the iPhone 6S Plus. Let's hit the hamburger menu. And let's just scroll through some of my best video section. And you can see that is the right for the S9 Plus. So that's pretty much a wash in browsing. It's going to be about the same when you're actually in the browser. What about Lightroom? And you can see Lightroom is first. For the S9 Plus, slightly behind it is the 6S Plus. What about Netflix? And Netflix shows a win here for the right on the S9 Plus, just very slightly. Let's go into Jetpack Joyride, and let's see which one can come through on the game here. And here goes the S9 Plus with the win. But can the iPhone 6S Plus come back in something like Dead Trigger 2, which is a little more graphically intensive? And you can see loading on the S9 Plus. Yes, it does. So the S9 Plus loses here, hit play. And see which one can go into this game first. Load up the graphics and things. And that is the 6S Plus. And here is the S9 Plus. So here is where the iPhone is still ahead sometimes. Let's go into Slither. You can see Slither opens first on the S9 Plus. But who can play it first? About the same. So it's about the same there on Slither. What about Geekbench? And you can see Geekbench opened almost identical. I couldn't even see that one. What about Speed Test? You can see speed test is first on the right it looked like. Let's go into the cameras and let, that's good. Let's go into the phone dialers now. And you can see that was the S9 Plus. So pretty close overall. Not too bad for a two-year-old phone on a 6S Plus. But I do think the S9 Plus has faster animations. Throw it in 0.5x and it's a wash. The S9 Plus I think was faster here on the first round. All right, so we're quickly just going to go through backwards through them. We're just looking for the RAM management to see if anything reopens on either. And nothing there. Let's go into camera. Nothing there on both. Speed test. Nothing there on both. Geekbench. And let's go to Slither. And looks like... We had a little ad there for the iPhone, but both of them held them just fine. Dead Trigger. 
You can see the S9 Plus a little bit snappier there. What about Jetpack Joyride? And the iPhone 6S Plus a little snappier there. What about Netflix? And you could see that's the right Lightroom. Let's go into Chrome, about the same. Amazon, that was the iPhone 6S Plus. YouTube, that's the S9 Plus. Snapchat, and we're having a reload there. That's where this two gigs of RAM, ooh, another one. That's where this two gigs of RAM is really starting to show its age. You see Twitter had to reload again. And settings, I don't expect these Apple apps to have to reload. But yeah, you can definitely see where the newer phones, iPhones with more RAM, do shine a little bit over the older 6S Plus. There's the Instagram reload right there. So the RAM management round goes to the Galaxy S9 Plus. Okay, so you can see the Geekbench scores are in. The iPhone 6S Plus actually beats the Galaxy S9 Plus in the single core, but loses in the multi-core. So it's still a very good phone here for 2018 and the iPhone 6S Plus. So let's quickly run a speed test here.net to see which one has better Wi-Fi performance. Now they're both connected to the same Wi-Fi network, but you know, sometimes they improve the chips on the Wi-Fi inside of these phones and the technology. So let's just see if there's any differences here between the Galaxy S9 Plus and the iPhone 6S Plus. So we got about 119 on the download and about 12 here on the upload. We're gonna get into the S9 Plus right now to see if this is any better over here. And let's see if it can pull in better speed. So we're not seeing better speed so far, maybe not. So doesn't look like it's gonna beat this iPhone 6S Plus. Well, maybe it will, maybe it will. Actually, 20, yes. So it slightly beats it, but they didn't show the dots, you know, after the 119. So we're pretty even there on the download. So what about this upload? Does it look about the same once again? and slightly faster on the upload. So, so not a big difference when it comes to your everyday Wi-Fi performance between the 6S Plus and the Galaxy S9 Plus. So based on the results of this speed test, I've come to the conclusion that the iPhone 6S Plus, just like most other iPhones, is still running very well. Uh, you might need a battery replacement as I do with this one, but it was running at peak performance here. And uh, the Galaxy S9 Plus is in a fantastic Android smartphone. And I do think that, you know, Samsung is getting really good at the speed of their phones, and I think they're gonna last much longer than they used to. The S9 Plus is the winner here in terms of overall speed and everyday use, but the gaming is still on the iPhone. If you're deciding to upgrade from a 6S Plus, I wouldn't be too concerned about the speed upgrade. I would look more at the other intangibles like the display or we're talking about wireless charging ip68 water resistance this also retains a headphone jack if you are a success user and you want to keep that headphone jack fast charging there's a lot to be offered here expandable storage with the s9 plus dual aperture camera it's an amazing device overall and i would say a solid upgrade but if you're going for just speed not too much it's only slightly faster than a 6s plus even though it has you know the more ram it does do better there but in the single core stuff you're not really going to notice too much on a day-to-day -day. that's just how fast phones have been for quite some time now if you guys found this video helpful enjoyable entertaining informing do me a favor click that like button for me and if you're new here consider subscribing for more nick here helping you to master your technology be sure to be well and peace